In 2011, after months of unsuccessful contract negotiation, Armstrong locked out its union workers at the Marietta Ceiling Tile facility, a critical plant in its network. Now, I was asked to join other engineers, scientists, and technicians to help keep the plant running during the lockout, and we brought in a bunch of replacement workers to help us man our equipment and run the facility. Now, during that time, I supported, supervised, ran the equipment, and did a lot of continuous improvement projects. Now, during one week of my continuous improvement support, I was walking around the factory and noticed that our laminating line was running really poorly. Now, this line added a top layer to ceiling tiles that would give us very specific visual for our high-end products. Now, I paired up with Wayne, who was running the line, and he gave me a tour to, to show me the areas where he was having difficulty. What I noticed were the boards that were going into the laminator were going at an angle. And when I researched a little further and looked around, I noticed that there were a bunch of angled rolls driving that board at an angle through the special laminating roll. What I believed was we had way too many angled rolls. In fact, there were 36 of them. So teaming with Wayne, we used four hours of downtime during a maintenance downtime event to straighten out 28 of those 36 rolls. The idea was if we could straighten those rolls out, we could bring those boards in in a straight fashion centered to that laminating roll and reduce the amounts of jams and downtime we were experiencing. Now, as we were doing this work, an engineer stopped by to see what we were doing. And when we explained our, ourselves, he seemed a little disappointed with our approach. It turns out he had installed the line and he was responsible for those 36 angled rolls. He didn't believe that what we were doing was going to help. Well, undaunted, we kept up our work and we asked him to come on back when we started up the line so that he could see if he could help us run it better. So we straightened out those rolls and started up the line. Now the first attempts were total failures as we were still having jams, but then we realized that the rolls in the guides weren't really set up to center the product into the laminating roll. With a few tweaks and adjustments, we created parallel guides on both sides of the line and all of a sudden the boards were going through that laminating roll perfectly centered and actually better spaced out. A few hours later, that engineer came by and he was surprised to see the improvements were really doing what we hoped they would do. Now, after a few hours of running, we found out that with that proper spacing and centering of boards, we were actually able to speed the laminating line up to 20% faster than it ever had been before. The lesson in all of this is that sometimes less is more, and by straightening out the rolls as they should be, we reduced the chance for error and problems, and jams went almost to zero. I hope this story provided you with some inspiration to revisit your own processes. I have a lot more I'd like to share. Head over to pi-partners.com to learn how I can help. And check back from time to time for more Kaizen stories.